Hey guys, this is Millie Weaver. I'm coming to you from the Portage County Courthouse in Ohio, and I have great news. All charges were dropped today, and the case was dismissed. So, this is breaking news. Um, Millie Weaver was just um, cleared of all charges, all wrongdoing. I kind of predicted this would happen. Um, the circumstances around her arrest were extremely suspicious. To me, it looked like she was being retaliated against for um, um, posting a video about the deep state. Um, anyway, let's let's continue watching her press conference she gave or her statement she gave after. The prosecutor had zero evidence, and really, the way he went about dismissing it, she it, it was really kind of a CYA move where he tried to just pin it all on um, the supposed victim that they weren't willing to testify and that therefore they didn't have a case and tried to make it as though that, um, you know, that obviously he's going to try to make it as though we're guilty, right? But he had no evidence. He admitted he had no evidence and that really that tells you that there should have never been a case. So how did they get a secret grand jury indictment in order to arrest me when they never had any evidence of a crime and their case was completely just weak I mean on discovery they pretty much had nothing it was insane uh, it just goes to show that this was a horrible miscarriage of justice I believe I was targeted I mean my court date was literally for trial my trial date was scheduled for November 3rd on election day and I'm supposed to think that it's not political so all the charges were dropped and the um, prosecutor was blaming it all on the victim when he never had a case, when this case never should have been filed in the first place, when um, it was clearly retaliation. In fact, um, it was a secret grand jury that was a, uh, that nobody knew about. Millie didn't even know this grand jury had been assembled, and it was all done in secret. And I believe that it was because pressure was put on the prosecutor who didn't want to bring the case in the first place to discredit Millie and the documentary that she was putting out. Although um, um, it sort of backfired because all it did was make the documentary more popular. However, Millie goes on to make the point that because of what happened here, um, there was a cloud put over the documentary. And so let's continue. My arrest and what happened to me is an even bigger story than Shadowgate. It's, it's a journalist being targeted. It's a journalist being targeted. There should have never been a case. This was, you know, a miscarriage of justice. And today, even though the charges have been dropped, I still feel like I've been wronged and I still feel like there hasn't been justice because this should have never happened and the media was able to run a bunch of hit piece smear campaigns on me. Um, the internet is forever. Of course, all these media outlets, you saw Fox News, USA Today, I mean, all Huffington Post, all the news outlets covered my arrest, put up there that, that you know, I, I did these horrible crimes and being charged with all these felonies. Let's see how many of these news organizations cover the fact that all these charges were dropped and that I was exonerated and that I am innocent. How, how many of them are going to do that? You see, um, some people have questioned, well, you know, might have this arrest helped Shadowgate? Well, yes and no. I mean, Shadowgate probably did go more viral because I was arrested. However, the credibility of Shadowgate was then questioned because who is this criminal girl that, you know, was was the reporter behind Shadowgate? You know, they were able to discredit it eat more easily and, and get the, the story off of the actual content of Shadowgate and move it on to my arrest. So she was completely exonerated and um, good for her. I'm so happy that um, maybe some good news is finally coming her way. Um, and I think that it's awesome that she's actually going to be going to court to sue the people that did this to her and make sure that they pay for what they did. I wish her good luck. It's going to be a long and frustrating battle that she is going to embark on, but I wish her a lot of luck. Let's continue. I'm going to be announcing today 
that I'm going to be seeking legal remedy. Um, I feel like I have been wrong. I feel like this has been a horrible miscarriage of justice. Um, the police essentially slandered me in their own police reports. And um, I, am, I am going to be taking action back because this should not happen to anyone. And I know this happened to me and thank God I had so many wonderful supporters like you guys out there that were able to raise me a legal defense fund so that I could fight back and get good lawyers. But the financial burden that was placed down upon me and my family was designed to destroy me. It was designed to destroy me. No regular person could handle that. I mean, the fact, if I wouldn't have had that legal defense fund, I don't know what I would have done. I was financially ruined over the whole thing. I mean, I lost my job. I got fired. So much for uh, Alex Jones, right? Sticking by people's sides and caring about fire fighting against injustice, fighting against the globalists, fighting against corrupt government officials when the minute they come after me, you know, he turns his back on me. I feel really let down. I feel really let down. And I hope that many of the people out there that, you know, that took this opportunity to kick me while I was down or run the knife through my back while I was unable to face them. I hope that those people will apologize and at least cover that I've been exonerated and admit that they were wrong and admit that they shouldn't just jump to conclusions and jump on board with the fake news narratives, okay? We should always be questioning these, these movements that look like media narratives, that look controlled. We should always be questioning them. But, you know, there's those people that in your life are going to be fair weather friends and i get it and i'm sure all of you get it you guys have all i'm sure had a moment in your life where you needed help and others turned their back on you or you were accused of something and others you know went along with other other people and threw you under the bus and it's unfortunate but i'm just so lucky that i have all of you all of you wonderful supporters that stuck by my side and were praying for me um, because today we got a great outcome and I couldn't have done it I could not have done it without the prayer warriors out there praying for me supporting my family um, I can't believe that CPS even tried to take my kids I mean imagine that a case no evidence a, a secret grand jury indictment just scooping someone up out of their home out of nowhere for a case supposedly happened back in April and then they arrest you the day you're releasing a mind-blowing documentary that talks about government corruption. So you can go to Millie's channel to watch the rest of that um, um, statement that she gave after she was fully exonerated. But that's the news. The breaking news is Millie Weaver was fully exonerated and um, she can move on with her life um, outside of being under the cloud of a criminal indictment. And I... Like I said, wish her the best of luck in getting justice and fighting back for what happened to her. Free speech and citizen journal journalism is under attack in the United States, and it needs to come to an end. But it's not going to come to an end unless we stand up and we support people, um, independent journalists, people on YouTube, people that are trying to just let their voice be heard, need to be supported and we cannot let this continue thanks for watching um, subscribe to my channel like this video and let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comment section thanks a lot